Ladies and gentlemen, this video you're about to watch about little Leah, Malia Davis. Her mother, Brittany Bowens, is being interviewed, and I'm telling you, it is painfully obvious and it is embarrassing. It's just uncomfortable to watch her answer, to listen to her answer these questions, watch her body actions, just to hear her, just to feel everything out. I am, I'm like, mm, check this video out, yo. I'd asked you earlier about Malia's birthday, February 6th. Um, tell me about the day she was born. The day she was born. Um, I had to have a C-section with her. And I just remember being in the hospital by myself. We are you repeating questions to think of answers? This is crazy. What were you going through? You you have no emotion connected to the day your baby girl was born. You had to think back and remember. You had to try to pull on some type of previous emotion and it was none. You don't want to talk about how cute she was, how tiny she was. Did she look like you? She had your eyes. She has your complexion and your dad's smile, his spirit. You don't want to go into detail about that. You're talking about you as alone. See, I told you she keeps redirecting every answer back to herself. You're selfish. Other family members not there or? Wow. Do you remember holding her for the first time? Absolutely. And what was that like? the feeling was amazing because I've always wanted a little girl I've always wanted a little girl and to know that I finally had her it meant everything to me mm. tell me about Malia viewer is like mm, tell me about Malia the interviewer sees through her and he is beginning to feel disgusted. He has already jumped to the conclusion, but unlike Gail King, he didn't make her a victim. He allowed her the moment to explain, to try to change his mind and perception of what he sees. This is what I see, because this woman has no emotion connected to the day her daughter was born. She's talking about herself, how she was alone. He had to jump in when no family members was there. No, mm. <laughs> it was crazy. This is crazy. Malia, she was, she was friendly. I mean, she would go up to anybody. I mean, anybody on the street, she would, hey, hi, you know, she, she would always speak. And a beautiful little girl, she, she loved to play, you know, with the kids, and she was just a normal child. Mm -hmm. um, Did that get on your nerves? Was she annoying to you? The fact that she was always happy and you was miserable all the time? Could it be possible that she got on your nerves? She annoyed you? She, she It wasn't about you? Because most of these interviews, Brittany, is about you. You always direct it back to you when it's about her. You don't know what to say. Your own child. And and that's that's this guy, this interviewer, is, is good at what he's doing. I love his objective look. But yet this man know better. This man is asking her these questions Let's put the focus on you as it relates to your daughter. Let's get the emotions out and let's, let's expose you, okay? Let's expose you. She played with her brothers. She got along with them. Um, she loved being a big sister to Cortland. And she was very helpful. Did she have a favorite color, favorite doll, favorite cartoon? Well, her favorite color was pink. She, she wasn't a doll person. She would play with cars, if anything. <laughs> she, she she loved cars. Um, but her favorite uh, cartoon character was Rainbow Dash. Mm -hmm. In a good mood. I mean, she was, she would, she would, she was. You already know what happened to this baby girl. You didn't want her there anyway. Like, this is bogus to me. The interviewer has to ask you, did, what is, what's her favorite color? Did she like it? toys? What's her favorite cartoons? That's, that's ridiculous. That is not 
This is not the actions of a mom that's mourning or scared or terrified or anything. Um, let's just watch on. And she used to watch My Little Pony all the time. She would she wouldn't want wanna watch anything else. And I remember she used to tell me how Rainbow Dash was her best friend. Really? I have a daughter and My Little Pony was her favorite when she was that age. The world has been touched by this story. There's been an outpouring of support and great interest and concern. Why do you think that is? Honestly, I'm not sure why. Not sure why. You just describe her to be one of the most beautiful angels on this planet that was on this planet. And then at the end, he asks, why do you think the world is shaken by this? And that's because she's not showing no emotion. The world is shaken by this, but you're not. That's what he implied. And that's what I took. That's what I'm saying he implied. And she answers, I am not sure why. You didn't see nothing spectacular about your daughter, though. You just described her as beautiful. Look, I'm not trying to play a prosecutor. And that's not I'm, all I'm doing right now is just analyzing, diagnosing, and looking at this situation. This woman has no attachment of love. The emotion that we're supposed to have, that bond, is not there. I don't know if she was not there for her daughter. I don't know if she was jealous of her daughter. I don't know. But it looks like it. Was it the attention that her ex-fiance was giving that daughter of affection, his pedophilic behavior? Hmm. But I know this kind of spirit Malia had. It was beautiful. And when I took those pictures, that's exactly what I captured. Her spirit. You can tell. It's 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 like you look at something, you, you look at her and it's like you just know what kind of person she was. You can feel that spiritually. Mm -hmm. Everybody has seen this, this photograph. Um, there's something about uh, the gap in the tooth, the floppy hair, that everybody, it just grabs them. There it is. There it is. That interviewer got, he got it. You got it, dude. Brother, you got it. You know how to mm -hmm, let us know, the viewers that's real, know that this is bullshit. But yes, stand in an objective position. And you're asking the right question. You directing her ass to expose her damn self. Lady, you're jealous. You see how he, he leads with the physical attributes. At this point, it got to be something deeper. Why are you not feeling no emotions? So he talks about how everybody loves Malia's gap. You know, the kid with the gap and the beautiful curly hair. That's the little girl, the little light skinned, pretty little girl. It is what it is. You know, and that's my words. And then at the end, she has nothing to say, nothing to say. Why? And I love how he caught her off guard because that's how you're going to get the truth out of anybody. Catch their ass off guard. Catch them off guard and you'll get the truth. She didn't know what to say. Watch her reactions. Were you annoyed by her attention, by the attention she got? It is an adorable picture. Did you take this picture? I did. Mm. How old was she when you took that picture? Three. She was three. And where were you? At Galveston. Oh, uh, Jamaica it? Beach. Jamaica Beach. Did she like the beach? She loved the beach. As a matter of fact, before all of this, I was just talking about bringing her back. We were supposed to go back. I love how he makes her think, come on, mom, catch up, feel something. She's gone. She was crying. She was hurting. That man hurt her, abused her, confused her mind, made her feel scared, took away her trust. 
And so at the end, the mom finally starts to cry. And I really, truly, me, feel like at this point, you're connecting to your daughter. And you now realize that she's gone. She's gone. So all that hate and all that, all the jealousy and the irritation that this little girl brought to your life, sometimes kids get attention. You see some children... They, they like to have attention. They just light the room up. And then you have those people that are so wounded and broken and hurt from life, their own lives. They used to be that person, but they are now broken and wounded that the little angel, that can annoy them or get on their nerves. Or you might wonder why they always looking for attention. It's just something about them. They can't, they can't help being sweet and innocent. And that can trigger, that can trigger feelings. Especially if you got a man that you said was abusing your daughter sexually, that's attracted to your child. You're all screwed up, this situation. But I pray that it has a good end. I just, <sighs> the good end is that this girl that used to live in this world and was abused all the time, she's with the Lord now. That's it. So what happened, Brittany? Did you flip out? What went down in that household? The grandmom is covering up for Brittany. Brittany has an alibi going away. Did you agree? All right, it's time to do it. Get rid of her. Were you trying to impress the guy? Because allegedly he had sent a text, a naked picture to a man, according to the news and what's going on. He sent a picture to a man. So already you was, in, you was insecure about your relationship. And if he was sexually abusing your child, you already felt like he was affect, he had affection for your child. Were you mixed up and confused? Did you, like what happened? Because you are guilty. No mother is able to withhold her own emotions during this time that really loves her child. It's just not possible, it's not made like that.